this 80th anniversary, and I'm thrilled that our dear Samaria Church has made it to 80 years. I, I also send you greetings and love from my parents and my brother, and they say how much they wish they could be here today. Of course, um, my earliest memories of life have been linked inextricably to dear Santa Church. I have lots of fond childhood memories. I remember jumping around on that carpet in the middle of the fellowship hall with the broad stripes, trying to jump from color to color. I also remember those um, hardcore, bizarre preparations, staying late into the night. One of my favorite jobs during bizarre preparation was pouring beer into those five pound buckets to make tikka mono. And I have to say from all the teriyaki chicken I've ever had in my life, that San Maria Church's teriyaki chicken is the best. That is my unbiased opinion. We can take this time to rejoice in the many ways God has blessed our community and has remained faithful to us through eight decades and many changes. Being here reminds me of the past that that beautiful show we saw by John Fox is really nice to remember the past and also the perseverance that this community has had through many hard times. I think we are now at a turning point in many of our churches, especially here as we look forward into the future and the many possibilities that it holds. We're now on a new horizon and we can't know exactly what to expect in the future. But we continue to stand together as a community, and I pray that we can be open to God's movement through us and the spirits among us. One thing that's always struck me about the Santa Maria Church is the unity and cohesion of its members. You folks sure know how to support one another. And so even though Christ Church has, looks different now than it did when I was younger, I think that commitment and that sense of community and unity is still present in our church. And through it all, let us remember that God has remained ever faithful with us and continues to be so gracious and grace-filled to us. And so, in closing, I would like to extend my heartiest congratulations and best wishes for the next eight years. It's been such a gift to be reunited with you all today at this occasion. Thank you. When I think about this church, uh, when we have an introductory meeting, uh, three people came here. And when we got here in July, uh, four, four people came. And uh, Lucas was uh, one month old when we were here. And, and we were uh, reared and nurtured uh, in Christian love. And uh, we, um, to this day, uh, appreciate, very much appreciate your love and care. And that's all that I can remember about this church. Thank you. Really appreciate uh, your presence. And, uh, and your presence is to help encourage the present uh, Christ United Methodist Church members. And, uh, and especially uh, our new pastor. As she starts, I hope, for a long, long ministry. Now... Uh, we came from a, a clergy a caucus meeting under the direction of Reverend George Nishikawa, who is right here with us. And, uh, and I don't know who made the uh, program and what the, uh, who uh, thought of the theme, but the subtitle of that, theme, uh, that uh, caucus was this. Um, Social refuge to missions. Social refuge to missions. Now, as I understand what the church is, church has been a refuge, a shelter, a safe place from ages past. That is uh, what a church is, a sanctuary. Uh, and uh, from a sanctuary to mission. If you can understand that, that was the message of our, our bishop. That's the message that we, we all should take with us. I've been serving now 13 years. This is my 14th year. I speak English with an accent. I speak Japanese with an accent. I speak 
Korean with an accent. <laughs> I'm a half baker, I don't know what would you say, but I'm, I'm so grateful that you accepted me as a member of the uh, Christ's mission in this part of the country. Continue to pray for our ministry and continue to pray for my health and my language. Thank you. The Christian United Methodist Church has meant to us in the 30 years that we have lived here. Many of those years have been when I was a chaplain in the Air Force. I have been accepted by the members of your church, uh, although uh, a foreigner <laughs> in a sense, uh, being a member of uh, a different annual conference, but we are all united Methodists and we are all united in Christ. As I listened to the various people speaking today, I thought what a wonderful blessing God has given me to provide some ministries that I cannot share um, about Christ United Methodist Church and the growth of the wonderful, wonderful spirit that I have seen develop and the lives that I have seen change. Um, in the time that we've been here. And all I can say, and I think I say this for Fran as well, we'd like to say thank you and let you know that Christ United Methodist Church holds a very, very, very special place in our hearts. Thank you. Uh, let's, let's all stand, please. And... Uh... Good. At least we can hold hands around the table. So you can face each other. Take a good look at each other. The God of hope, fill us with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, we may abound in hope. Amen.